How's it going guys? Uh, so you can probably hear it, there's a fan going on next to me. Uh, it's absolutely boiling in here, so I'm going to try and make this video kind of short. So yeah, recently you probably saw that I tweeted that I have been uh, talking to Rugby18 uh, via their Facebook page. And uh, yeah, so I felt I needed to contact them mainly because I've been doing these rugby videos now since 2015. And uh, I felt like because it received so much attention from all of you, I felt like it needed to be put forward that I've been doing them and the points that you came up with, I wanted to put them across to the thing and maybe it could potentially increase the popularity of the game, do you know what I mean? As in, maybe they'll put modes into it. This is basically the message I sent. I said, hello, as a fan, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing and playing this game. I have my own YouTube channel and created a video months ago about what a Rugby 18 game would look like, uh, inspired by all the fans' reactions. I created a series of Rugby game videos all the way back to 2015. The three videos had around 30,000 views altogether. I, just, I was just wondering if you'd be interested in hearing some of the ideas myself and the Rugby fans have come up with. Not only will it make the fans, my fans happy, but it could also potentially help increase your sales. So, yeah, kept it brief. Uh, they actually replied to me, which was pretty good. And uh, they said, hi Andrew, which is my real name, which you didn't know. Uh, thanks a lot for contacting us. Your channel seems really interesting. Could you please send me a link so I can watch some of the vi your videos? Of course, you'd be happy to read your ideas. So I sent them a link to the free videos. And uh, yeah, I'm currently waiting for a reply. I don't think they use the Facebook page much. But it's an improvement considering I originally emailed Big Ben Interactive about pretty much the same thing. And days went by, didn't hear a single thing, and days are still going by and still haven't heard a reply. So, yeah, so at least through the Facebook page, I actually replied. Um, so, yeah, things so far we actually know about Rugby 18. Uh, obviously, it'll be released in October. Uh, it'll be on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Uh, it'll be licensed for the Top 14 Premiership and the Pro D2, which is the second division of the Top 14 in France. Uh, they have said they're going to announce more tournaments and, well, and leagues and whatever, but nothing has been announced yet. Uh, it'll be playable online and offline, so whether you go online or whatever, up to you. Uh, all the stats will be accurate for individual players, which I thought was quite good because a lot of other rugby games don't seem to have that. Um, there'll be more than one stadium, they also confirmed quite recently, somebody commented saying all we've seen is one stadium so far and they did confirm that there will be more than one so that is pretty good I'm sure there's been rugby games in the past that only stuck to one stadium playable so that's a pretty good thing even if it's not licensed and they have replicas or similar things to other stadiums it'd be pretty good um, Wales are the only... Wales are, I apologise for that, Facebook uh, Wales are the only licensed team so far uh, for international ones obviously apart from the league ones which are Said. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll get more licenses with that. I'd like to see all the Six Nations teams and maybe some of the Hemisphere. Uh, but with the budget being low for this game, because it's not like EA and stuff, they can only afford to get certain teams. So, um, but yeah, either way, I'm, I'm kind of happy. Um, it won't be on the PS PS4 Pro or the Xbox One X. They did confirm that in E3. Uh, there was a video for that. Uh, but yeah, it's somewhere up on YouTube. Uh, and there is a massive improvement in graphics. Basically the picture I'm showing you now is the graphics. I watched a video in E3 of it like and yeah the graphics are very similar to the screenshot so yeah it should be a good game. Um, so yeah basically when they get, when they reply to me and they want to listen to what I have to say these are the points I'm going to be putting across to you guys. Uh, one main one I noticed was Ultimate Team so I'm going to be mentioning that, mentioning that to them. They might already have it up but who knows I'm going to play across anyway, and potentially they could go, oh yeah, we'll try and do our best for that. So, uh, yeah. And then we've also got music in the menus. I know it's only a small thing, but I feel like a lot of the game's already going to be done anyway. So, this is a potential thing for it. I know, like, you see EA Sports FIFA and Madden and all, they all have really good soundtracks, or, yeah, just any decent music. I know Rugby Challenge, the first one, I don't know if you've played that one, um, but the music was literally just a droning sound going doo, 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 and it was just that repeatedly and that got on my nerves so I would really be happy if they had like even just local bands of wherever they're based in France 
playing and do a recording for them and put them in the menus. And yeah, I think that would be pretty good for the game. And yeah, potentially it would increase the listeners and stuff for that band anyway, so you can't really go wrong, can you? Uh, Facebook again. Uh, challenge mode send. Jesus. Stop it. There you go. Problem solved. Okay, so challenge mode then, uh, basically, people have put forward that they wanted stuff similar to the old rugby games. For example, they would say, like, you go into a game and it would say, oh, you have 10 minutes to win and you could be, like, 20 points down. So, I think that would be quite a fun thing to do. And, like, EA Sports, you know, they did that online as well. Uh, for games that week, they would put up, say, say Bayern Munich we're, we're losing to Real Madrid by 3-1 three, three with 5 minutes to go and you'd have to play as Bayern Munich and try and beat them so you could do the same scenario with the rugby games and I think that would be pretty cool and uh, yeah career mode that was another really popular one with you guys that I put into Rugby 18 my unofficial version um, and yeah it's got a lot of backing and people would really love to do that so yeah, I'm going to put those points across and hopefully we'll get a reply. So yeah, Facebook again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, the rugby games have had a lot of support, so uh, yeah, smash the like button. Comment, let me know if there's any points you missed. Uh, within the next few days, I can still put them forward. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. There's more rugby content on the way, uh, because it seems to be very popular with you. So Rugby 18 definitely will be a playable. Uh, gameplay on my channel and uh, yeah we'll see what other rugby games we can find and other things too like vlogs and other fun stuff so yeah see you in the next one guys peace out